Hi there and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. I have wanted to do a quick flip through of some of the Christmas journals that I've created for an upcoming Christmas show that I'm doing um, November 14th. I've been working on these for probably two weeks steady because uh, in between everything else that I'm working on. Um, what had happened was I am a big recycler and I like to use what I have and I did purchase some little golden books when I was in Florida last year and I wanted to make some Christmas journals and I've just I knew it was going to be this year so I of course let it left it to the last minute before this sale we decided to go ahead with our sale um, we're going to be you know everybody has to wear masks and we're going to be safe um, but they decided to go ahead with the sale. So then of course it was okay. Now you've got to make some stock <laughs> So what I did was I started making the Christmas journals and I created these as December dailies So these are junk journals that you will um, Do for 31 days in December and I am actually going to take one of these books and I'm actually going to record every day doing um, a collage for that day now for these specific December dailies, I decided to go ahead and create a prompt list. And I'm just going to quickly flip to that page so that I can show you what I mean. Um, for my December dailies, I have created 31 prompts. Now you can use this December daily for just daily journaling or whatever you like. But some people have a hard time trying to figure out what to write about each and every day for 31 days. So I've actually created a little list that you can actually prompt. Now I followed along um, on Instagram the December clipboard challenge. And it was a very similar thing. Um, the lady sold clipboards and she did a little prompt list. So every day you had a prompt and you did a little collage on this little clipboard of that prompt. So I thought this would be a good idea for people that aren't quite sure what they want to do in their December dailies. So I've created 31 prompts and you can use them, you can do whatever you like, but they will be in the journal on the back of this little folder here. And just as an example, day one is deck the halls, day two is oh Christmas tree, and day three is all I want for Christmas. So I've used movies, songs, um, movie titles, like Hallmark movies, um, that type of thing. So that it gives you something to collage or journal about that day. And again, you can use it for daily journaling on your own. There are enough pages in this that you can actually stick your meal planning list in there. You can use it for your complete December planning book. So let's start from the beginning. These are little golden books. They are six and a half by eight inches and the spine is one and three quarter inches wide. I've added on the covers. I've just used scraps of some of the material and fabrics that I've used, some laces. And I've added a little charm here, a little chain with some buttons and a little snowflake. I've used a picture hanger hook here with a brad that looks like a screw. Um, so that's on the the outside. I do have some other beads that I purchased last year. I have a big bag of them and I think I might add a red or green bead onto this as well. I just went out into my garage and had to dig through my bin to find them but I might add another bead on there as well. So I've used um, the golden book cover for the spine. Um, I do not did not like the little golden book the back part of the cover with all the little animals and all that so I've covered all the backs of the books with coordinating Christmas scrapbooking paper. So the Pokey Little Puppies First Christmas, and this was my, <laughs> this is my test run. This was the one that I started first, and then I worked on all the others. Um, so I've used um, fabric for the spine, and I created my own spines using Nick the Booksmith's hollow back binding spine. Um, so we have the fabric here, we have the little golden book, and I've covered up most of the little golden book logos or um, things that they put on the covers. I tried to cover up that as much as I could. I've added a book plate. So there's fabric on here with the book plate and it just says December dailies. I've um, added a hitch fastener here and an eyelet on the back and I will include um, a six inch. This is a five inch um, elastic and it closes the book perfectly. So the six inch one when you get it, it won't 
latch perfectly, but once you start doing your December dailies and putting all your stuff in there, your book is going to get fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. So <laughs> you'll be able to latch that as well. You can get a piece of ribbon of your own and just um, do a loop through the eyelet and then tie it around the front. I didn't want to put fabric on there. I wanted to leave that up to you to decide how you, but you will get the elastic to close it. Um, but I will leave if you want to add your own closure of some kind of fabric, please do so. Um, again, I didn't want to get them too personalized. I wanted the person who buys it to personalize it. So um, I've added some on the inside here. It has two signatures. And there are, I believe, 54 pages in each signature. And that's including the covers. I've added some fabric tabs that match the fabric on the spine on the top here. On the inside, I did use some um, muslin fabric and it went, it covers the whole inside of the book and then I added some scrapbooking paper on top of that for some sturdiness. And then I created these little file folder. Um, it kind of reminded me of Tracy Fox's attache course. I took that idea from her and I created a little ephemera folder that you can add some little bits and pieces of ephemera that you want to add inside your book. And I have included quite a few little bits and pieces inside here already. Um, these, each book has this in them, so you can add more to it. And I may be adding a few more um, digital printouts. I, I just haven't gotten to that stage yet. So you get two tags in red and green. You get a little ornament lined um, journaling card and a lovely piece of vintage music paper and that's just in the back pocket. I've included in every single Christmas journal. Um, this is cardstock, Christmas cardstock and they all have numbers from 1 to 31. So if you want to use those to number your, your layouts you can add that in. So those are just some little extras in there as well. And then inside I've added little scraps of fabric, two more buttons, um, a little spiral paper clip. Um, I think, oops, let me just take the buttons out. I created some little round stickers from vintage wrapping paper images. So that's in there. So you have some white fabrics and stuff. Um, what else have I got in here? I keep adding things. <laughs> to the packages, um, more and more things. So there might be more in it once you get it. I'm just kind of playing. I'll just open this one real quick to show you what I've got in here. It's just a bunch of little things that I pulled out. So you've got a little envelope there. I've added some Christmas stickers. So there's three little Christmas stickers and they're all different. I've just grabbed them out of my stash. These are little pieces of paper. These are the same in all of them. So you can add those, some little tags that came in one of the scrapbooking kits that I received. Um, I've included some papers uh, from the monthly journaling box that I get. So I've created, included a couple of pages of those. I've also included three of my stickers, uh, my stamp stickers. This is just a little pocket from a, a piece of envelope, so you can use that. And then these are three of those mini coffee filters. I love to stamp these with um, images, and I was going to put Christmas images on them, and I thought, I'll let you decide how you want to decorate them. So I've just started throwing some little bits and pieces into these files as I'm kind of going through my stash. Um, so that's the bigger bits. And then in this one, again, this is another envelope you can use in your book. So you can use that one. And again, these are just little pieces of paper. There's a little snowman, oops, a little snowman there. Um, three pieces of snowflake confetti. There's another one in here somewhere, there it is. And then these are just little sayings from a scrap, it's paper, from, so it's from a scrapbooking paper. Two more, three more tags, and then another one of those labels, those paper labels that I get in my mail out each month. So I'm just kind of, as I go along, I'm coming across some little bits and pieces that I have enough to put in every single journal. So that's kind of what we're getting, you're getting as starters in your little ephemera folder here. And it has two pockets. 
so you can stash more things in there as you go along. Um, you can recycle Christmas cards, you can print out your own digital things, um, you can put scraps of papers and stuff that you want. If you want a certain theme going out throughout your journal, you can stash the papers in there. And again, it has two signatures, and I've used cardstock scrapbooking paper for the covers. These are um, something that I got in a book, and it was a full sheet of different sayings about Christmas and stuff. I've put two of them inside your ephemera package. This particular one, I glued them on, and then I thought, no, I'm not going to glue them on. I'm going to leave them for you to decide, because you might want to use them throughout your pages, not just on the covers. And you might want to put a really pretty vintage image on the front here, like one of those vintage Santa Clauses or something. So for this one, I did glue it on, but the rest of them, I'll do a quick flip through. You will see that I did not add this paper here. So you have cardstock on the inside. I've included a December calendar. So there is your month of December for 2020 and you can write in there that you've done your challenge or keep track of events or whatever you like but there's your December calendar. And then um, in this particular one I've added the little tab right onto the paper but in the other ones I've created tabs and you'll see that on the side so you can see where all of these little extra pages are. So what my thinking was you could use two pages as your layout. So this would be day one. You can either include this as day one or just have it as an extra piece. You do have extra pages. So that's kind of day two and so forth and so forth. But what I've included, um, different papers. So there's some vintage music paper. I've used a few of the pages of the book. They come in this and then some marker paper. This is great. This actually will take some wa light watercolor or colored pencils or markers or whatever. It's lovely paper. Tea stain pages, sketchbooking paper, more Christmas paper. I thought this lined paper would be good for making some lists or notes if you want to do some meal planning, that type of thing. Um, so that's just an extra page in there. Another book page, some vintage ledger paper, some tea stain scrapbooking paper. Um, on the other side of the book pages, I've created some Franken pages, and these were scraps of the scrapbooking paper from some of the covers and some of the paper that I used inside the book. So we have some Franken pages in there as well. And again, there's lots and lots. I've left, left these totally naked for you to decide how you want to cover for each day. And this this will have enough pages definitely for 31 days if you want to do your layouts this way. If you just want to do them single pages, you'll have many, 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 many pages. <laughs> uh, and then at the back, the scrap, some of the scrapbooking paper that I had had these larger pieces. And I just included that as a flip out, flip up. And then this is the second signature. And again, just some very similar pages. There's another book page. Um, more of the paper. This is a stationary page. I really thought this was really pretty. That's more of the puppy. So you have a nice variety. The pages are full. You can add envelopes in here. Attach an envelope to the page if you want to have envelopes in there. Pockets, tuck spots. This is where you get to be creative and decide how you want to decorate your journal for December. So again, there's quite a few pages here. Now in the back, I created this little folio. So what I've included, in the, again, these little prompts and everything are on little tabs in the other ones. Um, so this is the, the list of your prompts from 1 to 31. On the inside, I've created this little pocket here and um, I've recycled Christmas cards, cut them into, a, I think they're like three inch circles. And I made them look like little ornaments and it says it happened like this. So you can use these in your, your daily prompts as well. But I've included two of those. I've included a little Christmas to-do list. So this might be something that you throw in your purse. So this might be if you're going shopping for grocery lists or whatever you want to use it for. Um, one of the prompts is about baking. And I've created my own recipe cards. And the back has directions. Um, so I've included two recipe cards, so if you're baking and you want to give some baked goods to a neighbor or a family or friends, you can write out the recipe and, and include that as well. And then I've also included two Christmas gift lists um, for you to, a portable gift list. So you can make a list of gifts that you have to get and then take that with you. 
in your purse. So there's two pockets here. And these just slide back in there. Like that. And then on the inside, I've added a Christmas card list. So when someone sends you some Christmas cards, and I like to keep track of who sent me a card so that I can reciprocate and send them one back. So it has a spot here for their name and their address and their postal code. So you write all that information in, and then you check off received. So I received a card from Mary Brown. I check that off. And then when I send her a card, I have her address here. I write her name and address on the card. And then I've got a little sent file here. So then I can check off that I've sent her a card. Or if I send a card first, I'll check that off. And if they send me one back, at least I can check off received. I like to keep track of, um, we send cards back and forth to some of the people in Florida. Some people have moved, um, that type of thing. So this is the best way for me to keep this. I have this as a PDF. If this fills up and you need another copy and you purchase one of my journals, I would be more than happy to email you another copy of this. And you can literally just glue from, um, print it out on an eight and a half by 11, cut it down. I think this is seven and a half by 10. Um, you could just tack it on at this end so you'd have another page as well. So you can add another Christmas card list if you get many, many, many cards. <laughs> Um, there's a little pocket here because this is an envelope so you could stash some receipts in there and then on the inside I always keep a master gift list of my family that I have to buy for so this is where I would put um, like my husband and then I would put stocking stuffers and then some items that I've purchased for him and then the cost so I try and keep a, a budget and then I've marked down here where I wrap them and he's done. And again, I have this in a PDF if you need another copy of this to add to this one. Again, you would just put it right on top and just make sure that it's secure on one side so you could lift it up and see your gift list. Uh, but these are the ones that I keep in the books, uh, the card list and the gift lists. And then these are the portable ones that you take with you when you're shopping and stuff like that. Um, I didn't do meal planning and that type of thing, but I did put a lot of the lined pages in the book so that you could create your own lists. Um, using the lined paper and not have to use that for your December dailies because there's lots and lots of pages there. So that is the Pokey Little Puppy. Now I do have the rest of the pages for the Pokey Little Puppy from the book and I do believe I'm going to include the remainder of the book pages with the journal so that you can use them and cut them up and use them within your your daily um, December dailies. So that's the Pokey Little Puppy and he, again he was my first kick at the can if you will <laughs> so I also have the biggest most beautiful Christmas tree and again he has some blue and red buttons and a snowflake and some lovely little fabric there and he's the same size everything every one of them is the six and a half by eight with the one and three quarter spine I've added the little hitch post I have not added the elastic on these ones because I want to be able to flip them open and show you um, so again, they are exactly the same inside. This is the rest of the book from the Christmas tree. I will include that with the journal so you can use those book pages. It does have the ephemera folder and it does have all of the little bits and pieces that I've shown you from the other um, journal. This is all your little numbers from 1 to 31 and there's all your little bits and pieces, your fabric and your buttons and your stickers and then you have your music pages and your tags etc in that one. So again you, once you use these you can keep adding more to this it will expand and I've added some um, scoring up here so you can expand the lid and make it bigger. And then I've just added the little so you can wrap that around like that. Um, this one has, so every one of them has different papers within them. This is the one that has the tab here. So there's your December 2020 with your calendar. And then it does have the book pages in here as well. So again, it's the same type of papers. I've used some, the same type of papers. This one has a pocket there. This was a large piece of scrapbooking paper that I had. I've added these little tabs. I'm going to punch a hole here and put a little red reinforcement hole there. Um, but again, very similar papers for you to journal on. So these are great for making lists, these line pages, and then the rest you can just use as your December dailies. There's another flip up there. 
And then that's the second signature. This is origami paper, handmade origami paper. And I just love the color of it, so I wanted to include that. Again, it has a nice variety of papers. Lots of room for you to journal on for your December dailies. And then again at the back, it has your Christmas prompts. And there I've added the little tab there. So here's your daily prompts. This says Christmas cards. So there's your Christmas card list there. Um, there's your Christmas gift list. I've had to put the two recipe cards in here. For some reason, I made this pocket just a little bit smaller. I think it was because that Christmas envelope was a, just a little bit smaller, so I had to make the pocket thinner. But there's your little gift list tag. So when you open that, there's your gift list. And then the same thing. It has your ornaments, your to-do list, and your two Christmas gift lists there as well. And it does have the eyelet. Again, if you want to add your own um, fabric, I will include the elastic. You literally just have to fold your fabric in half pop it up through the eyelet and put your ends through and create that that loop and then you'll be able to close your journal by tying it in a bow around that little hitch fastener so each of these books will come with the book pages as well so there's your christmas tree santa's toy shop and again he has the little attachments there on the side a little bit of lace on the top and the bottom. This one had a big huge barcode on the front so I, was, I managed to get that off. Here's your ephemera folder and your book pages. And then this one has some of the fabric tabs on the top and then there's your December calendar and your very similar pages throughout with your book pages. And then there's the second signature and then again lots of book pages and pages for your December dailies and then there's your Christmas prompts here's your little pocket with all your little goodies in it and there's your gift list and your Christmas card list and again you can use that envelope for um, putting some receipts in the back and I did reinforce this um, um, envelope here with some sticker tape washi tape just so that um, because when you were flipping it open, this was just a Christmas envelope and I didn't think it was very thick, so I wanted to make sure that it was secure. So there's Santa's Toy Shop. There's Jingle Bells, and this has the two red buttons and the snowflake, and this has the love. I love this fabric, this um, plaid with the snowflakes on it. I did cover up this one corner. It was a bit chewed a little bit, so I wanted to make sure the corner looked pretty, and I've added some paper on the bottom there. And again, this one has an elastic as well. You have your ephemera folder with all your goodies in it and the rest of the book. This one has the fabric tabs, and again, I've used the tabs on the side. So there's your first signature with your calendar. And again, very similar type pages with your book pages. And your Franken page. So I've used up some more of the scraps of the scrapbooking covers. And there's another one. And then there's your second signature. And again, more of the so they're nice large pages. I really like how big they are. It's going to give you lots of room for journaling and stuff. There's your Christmas prompts. Here's your little pockets with your Christmas cards and everything in it. Your gift list and your card lists. So there's Jingle Bells. I have two of the Littlest Christmas Elf. And again, it has red and green buttons and the thing at the side there. I've used a little bit of the paper and lace there, and I've added your December dailies with your hitch. You have your ephemera folder, and you will get the rest of the pages. Um, this one has the green fabric on the top with your little tabs and your calendar. Oops, and your calendar. I really like this paper. This is a lot of fun. And then the second signature is the gift wrap. And again, very similar type pages throughout the book some ledger paper, Christmas paper, 
and then your prompts and then you've got two of the tags and all your little stuff in there your Christmas card list and your gift list in the back so I have two of these and there's the spiral um, paper clip instead of putting it inside I've attached it to these pages so they wouldn't come apart um, but there's two of those Christmas elves and the back paper is the striped paper I really like the paper I thought it went really well with the, the cover so there's another one of the Christmas elves with the striped paper and your ephemera folder and your book and then your two signatures and your list at the back so I have two of the little elves and then I have three of the frosties um, two of the frosties were pretty rough condition so I tried to clean up the cover as best I could and I've added corners to two of them because the corners were quite chewed up and pretty ratty um, I've used some fabric on, or scrapbooking paper on the back and then some fabric on the side and these ones have blue and green buttons with the snowflake and then inside again you will get your frosty pages um, your ephemera folder and then this particular one has two different signatures and I've used the fabric tabs on the top very similar pages throughout Frosty's my favorite. I was going to keep one of the Frosties for myself, but I think I have another one over there that I will use. Um, and then you have your Christmas prompts, your Christmas card list, and your gift list. And then all your little goodies in your pocket here. And the Frosties are pretty much the same. I think one of them has different papers in it. So there's that one. And then there's another one with the corners and the thing on the side. Your ephemera folder and your two signatures with your tabs on the top. It has your Christmas prompts, your goodies, your gift lists. And there's that one. And then this one did not need the corners. He was in pretty good shape. That one's a little rough, but it was a pretty good nick. And these, instead of using the red ribbon, I used um, a light blue ribbon instead of red. I used red and white on all the others, but I just thought there was a lot of blue in the frosty. So here's your ephemera folder and your book, your two signatures, and your Christmas prompts and your gift lists. So that's my. December daily journals. These are for my craft show. I may put them up on my Etsy shop just before the craft show in case somebody wants to purchase them. Um, I just wanted to make sure you got them before December 1st so you could start your December dailies. I'm going to go ahead and put those up and then I will take them to my craft show as well. Um, I am kind of playing with adding a few more things in there. It's really hard to stop once you get going on Christmas. You just keep adding and adding and adding. I also have for my craft show these little tiny leather journals. These are about an inch and a half tall by an inch. And I've added a little ball chain and they have the word inspire and a little button. Um, so you can hang these as a necklace. You can take this off and hang these as a necklace. They come with, there's four different kinds. This one has a little butterfly and you can open them up and they have about 84 pages, I believe. There's four signatures, or three signatures and it's real leather and it does have a little elastic, but it has, um, I think it was one, two, three, four, five, six, 12, 24 times three, yeah. So there's quite a few pages in there. Um, and it's a nice thick paper. It's um, it's in between cardstock and poster board. It's a, it's a specialty paper that I got from someone. They donated these large sheets. And I just liked it because it kind of held the leather um, more sturdy, the little book more sturdy, sturdier than just using photocopy paper or that kind of thing. And the signatures are all sewn in. So you have the stitching down the side. So I have four of these little butterflies. 
I have four black ones, and these are just little flower buttons. And I have four with these silver little, these are actually buttons as well, but they're uh, metal, and it's a little daisy. And the same thing, it's got all the pages. You can use it as a necklace or charm, hang it on your keychain, however you like. It's got, they come with the little ball chains on them. So I made a couple of those. Um, I will have my aprons there. My regular Reader's Digest journals will also be there. Um, I have those on for my sale as well. And I believe a lot of these come with um, a little ephemera folder, a little ephemera bag. And I just added lots of little bits and pieces that will come with the journal as well little labels, little bits of ephemera, postcards, um, tags, pockets, and all that. Um, that comes with some of my Reader's Digest journals as well. That's included with those. Um, I'm just trying to think what else I'm taking with me. I have quite a few of the travel journals um, in stock, so I will be taking those to my craft show as well. And I may be doing up a few kits for, like I did the Edith Holden envelope folio kit. I'll be doing some smaller ones um, with maybe some of the scrapbooking paper. I have tons and tons of scrapbooking paper, so I want to use that um, up. So I will make up some kits and include some of the scrapbooking paper and envelopes and stuff to make your own little folio. Um, I'll have those kits together as well for the show. So I'm just kind of throwing this together this this show was kind of a we weren't sure if it was going to go and then we decided yes we're going to go ahead um so that's kind of what i've been working on i just <laughs> it was kind of just like throwing out there and you had to put it all together um so that's my christmas journals and my little leather journals i did make an original <laughs> this was my original christmas journal and it took me a while to play with it and i was originally going to have it so that it was three different um, books. So this would be the, this is where the actual daily journals are. And then I have my daily prompts underneath there with a little pocket. So these are my signatures for doing my daily journaling. And there's my pocket with all my, you know, Christmas cards and all that kind of thing. And then on this side, I did my December calendar as a folder, my Christmas gift list and my card list or little folders and they were in the front and then my ephemera folder but I just found it was a little too cumbersome and you know I had to flip it all open and everything to get to the journaling pages so I just thought I'm just going to keep it simple and just keep them as the covers of the journals um, there was one of the little um, decorations I used so something like that would be nice on the fronts of your signatures of these when you're doing your December dailies but that's just an idea um, to get some ideas, maybe go on Instagram and look at the December daily or clipboard challenge that they did last year and you'll get some ideas of how they um, decorated all of these different books and stuff, um, pages for their December dailies. I know there's lots of YouTube channels out there for December dailies as well. Um, so that was another one that I did. So I might use this one. This is Noel. I might use um, this one as my December daily and then film each day when I do something in my December daily just to use him up because he didn't really turn out as well as I had hoped um, but that's basically my Christmas journals again thank you so much for watching and I'm sorry I've been missing in action on my YouTube channel but it's been a really really crazy couple of weeks trying to get ready for this craft show um, I will at the end of this video leave um, a flyer on there for anyone that lives in Ontario. The sale is in Port Elgin, Ontario. I live in Southampton and we're side by side. Um, and the sale is on on November 14th from 10 to 4 p.m. So if you're in Ontario and you want to come out and check out some of my goodies and see some of our, our other artists in our artist group, we'd love to see you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.